Let us do another practice problem. In this uh, practice problem, we have been given a trial balance. So this is a trial balance as on a given date. And you have list of accounts, you have amounts written in debit and credit. What we have to do is to uh, verify that this trial balance statement has been prepared accurately or not. So if there is any inaccuracy, we need to correct it and then, you know, prove that uh, we have corrected the trial balance. Let us look at these uh, items one by one. Capital. Well, capital is a liability. All liabilities have a credit balance in their ledger account. However, this trial balance shows the amount of capital, the balance in the capital account on the debit side, which is not possible. So we are going to move this to the credit side. Then you have short term investment. This is an investment. All investments are assets and assets have a debit balance. We need to move this to the debit side. So this is how we need to correct this trial balance. Next up is stock. Stock is an asset, unsold stock. This should have a debit balance. Well, this is already on the debit column, so we don't need to worry about it. This is fine. Purchases are expenses and all expenses have debit balance. The balance has been written in the debit column, so this is correct. Sales is income. Incomes have credit balance. It is written on the credit side, so we don't need to change anything. Wages are expenses and all expenses have debit balance. So this is correctly written. Heating is basically, you know, heating uh, bills or whatever coal that you get for heating in a manufacturing uh, setup. So this is also an expense. All expenses have debit balance and this should be fine. Equipment are assets. Assets have debit balance and this should be correct. Carriage outward and carriage inward. Outward meaning this is carriage on sale. This is carriage on purchase. Now outward refers to the direction of the goods. Uh, when you say uh, goods going outward, goods go out of the business when you sell them. So when you sell them, you are paying carriage on that. So that's what it is referring to. On the other hand, you have carriage inward. Inward meaning that goods are coming into the business. That happens when you purchase. Uh, you know, both the items are expenses because both are being paid by the company or the business. All expenses have debit balance. Uh, this has been incorrectly written on the credit side. So we'll just move this and this balance seems to be in the right column. Now there is a return outward. What is return outward? Return means returns of goods. Why would you return the goods? Well, the company would return the goods to its vendor if the goods that have been delivered are not to the specification or the goods are damaged or there is some problem due to which uh, the goods have to, you know, other problems due to which goods may need to be returned. The outward, uh, this word here refers to the direction of the goods, goods are going out. Now, when the goods are going out of the company, then the company is returning the goods to the vendor. So this is purchase return. Return of uh, purchases. Purchase return is going to have the uh, opposite balance of the purchase account. Purchase account always has a debit balance and purchase return always have a credit balance. So purchase return is not necessarily an item of income, expense, asset or liability, but this is uh, a counter purchase account. Opposite of purchase account, whatever you know is purchase is being returned. So this should have a credit balance. This is an exceptional item. So just uh, understand this. This should be shown on credit. It is being shown on credit side. So uh, that is fine. Then you have a provision for bad debts. Now all provisions are shown under current liabilities in the balance sheet. 
and liabilities always have a credit side so you are going to show it here 350 so the provisions are typically the money set aside out of the profits of the business to meet future liabilities so provisions represent a possible liability uh, and all liabilities have a credit balance then you have discount allowed which is an expense of the business all expenses have debit balance so you're going to move this to the debit side then you have uh, rent rent is an expense and hence debit it is shown correctly motor vehicles this is an asset debit shown correctly we have cash account cash is an asset debit balance it is also shown correctly creditors are liabilities all liabilities have credit balance this is not written correctly here and then you have debtors debtors are assets all assets have debit balance this needs to be moved to the other side bank overdraft is a liability all liabilities have credit balance so this needs to be moved to the opposite side so that's how you prepare a trial balance that's how you correct a trial balance so i'll see you in the next video with uh, some more discussion regarding the trial balance statement.